Good morning, everyone. This is Edward with your second Hurricane Matthew update. It is Wednesday morning around 8 a.m. So, as I as I said yesterday, you know, we just have to keep watching this thing, and we're continuing to do that. Tropical systems are really interesting. There's a lot of moving parts that goes into forecasting them. I am no meteorologist, but uh, I've self-taught myself a few things. You kind of have to if you live here on the Outer Banks. And so yesterday's 2 p.m. model run was very interesting because it showed a significant shift in the track um, south, uh, had it turning out further south than we were anticipating and, uh, and going out to sea. The European model is a very accurate or, or very good forecast model. It's heavily relied upon, but it only runs twice a day. So it's a 2 a.m. and a 2 p.m. model run. Overnight, we saw that trend sort of continue. And so the National Hurricane Center has updated its track a bit to show Matthew, uh, you know, really, really skimming the Florida coast and making a, a turn to the northeast and east further south than we had been anticipating so you know does that mean we get excited no this is still a very serious storm and it's something we still have to watch very closely but it's um, it's a potential of something a little bit different happening you know one one or two model runs is it too much to get excited about yet we have to wait for a real trend to show up so um, Hopefully the trend will be our friend coming up today into this evening and we'll just have to keep watching that. Currently we still have very windy conditions. I'm actually huddled down next to my truck so the wind's not too bad. Uh, very windy conditions, high tides and uh, actually we have a um, high surf advisory through Thursday evening. And, and that's again, that's not at all associated with Matthew. That's just... Uh, a little fall fall thing we got going on that's that's not atypical for October as I said yesterday so we'll keep you update I'll be back with you later today and we're hoping that this trend continues and it would definitely lessen our effects from this storm but again we're not out of the woods and uh, and we got to keep watching this thing so just keep your eyes glued to our Facebook our website of course, watch the news, and and let's hope this thing goes on out to sea, and and um, and of course we still, you know, our thoughts are and prayers are, are really with those further south that have been, you know, really devastated by this storm. So keep checking us out, and, and we're going to keep you informed. Have a great morning.